Hey guys, welcome to episode number 450. Today is Thursday, so I have some more aquarium news for you. Top story of the day is oil collecting sponge. This week, Aragon National Lab published a press release detailing a new technology for rapidly collecting oil from oil spills. Argon explains that the newly invented Oleo sponge can clean the entire water column. It has a complex structure which retains oil and it's easy to reuse. The key to the sponge's success is a thin layer of metal oxide inside the foam itself. The metal oxide grabs oil molecules and holds onto them tightly. Hopefully, technology like this can be used to protect our oceans in the near future. Next story, self-repairing zebrafish eyes. Medical News Today recently released an article detailing how scientists have uncovered how zebrafish are able to regenerate damage to their eyes. The team discovered that when a specific neurotransmitter in the eye was slowed, it allowed the zebrafish's retinal cells to de-differentiate and then differentiate again back into healthy nerve cells, repairing the fish's sight. Zebrafish are widely used in medical experiments and scientific studies, and these studies may one day allow us to repair many human eye conditions. Next story, humpback party. It's party time. This week, Popular Science published an article showing hundreds of humpback whales congregating off the coast of South Africa. When whales gather in such large groups, they're known as superpods and it's a rarely documented occurrence. Scientists aren't sure why so many whales would gather in one location, but they suspect abundant food in the region may be one reason for the activity. Humpback whales were once hunted towards extinction, but they've seen a big rebound over the last 50 years, which is always a good reason to throw a party. Next story, Bodie McBoatface goes on a mission. Last year, the internet was successful in its mission to name the UK Natural Environment Research Council's newest vessel. Well, it's on board ROV at least. NPR reports that Bodie McBoatface, a remotely operated vehicle, is now ready to embark on its first research mission into the depths of the Antarctic. The survey will investigate Antarctic bottom water currents which are being affected by global warming. We wish you luck on your journey, Bony Big Boat Face. Serve your country proud. Next story, Clearwater Sea Turtles Get Fed. The last story of the week comes from WFLA News Channel 8, who recently published a story about Clearwater, Florida, where a group of fourth graders decided to grow lettuce in the classroom's hydroponic gardens to feed to the Clearwater Marine Aquarium's sea turtles. It took the students six weeks of tending to the greens before they were ready for delivery. The students then took a field trip to donate the food and watch their flippered friends chow down. Hopefully, these students inspire many others to walk in their footsteps. And that's your aquarium news for the week. As always, links to all of these stories are in the description down below. And until next week, stay curious, and I'll see you guys later.